Oh, hello friends, and welcome back to another episode of What up? I'm Dean Isaac Addison, and thanks for tuning in. My special guest today is my good friend Alejandro. Alejandro, 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 Alejandro. <laughs> Sorry, he's an amazing artist. He's gonna teach you how to do a portrait from beginning to end in charcoal. How cool is that? Here's the interview. Check it out. Oh, thank you for joining me for my. Oh yeah, no problem. And um, so, what are you doing with this whole quarantine? Like, what do you do to keep busy? Well, you know, uh, I'm going to be honest, the first couple weeks or more, I've been just watching TV and chilling and eating more than ever. Like, I cook, like, I, I cook, I'm like a constant cook now. <laughs> but then uh, the last couple of days, I started, like, drawing again, you know. So, ha! Yeah. Back to reality. All right. There you go. Oh, and I painted this today. Ha <laughs> ha. Cool. Sorry. Yeah, I painted that today. Oh, I'm not even talking to you, Siri. <laughs> I know it's crazy. Yeah. Oh, and then, I, and then I, I drew this this morning, you know, like. Oh, wow. It's like a trippy. I, I've been doing yeah. this kind of drawings a bunch, you know, but like, it's, it's like I started doodling, and so it's all from imagination, you know. Yeah. This is from a picture, picture I took. This is this is a girl that is my friend, my girlfriend, pretty much. <laughs> I, I call it the. What is it called? I'm, I'm trying to. Grow the pussy or some or sweet pussy cat or something like that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> something along the lines. But yeah, and then I, I did this weird shit too. Wow. It's just noses and and mouths and then yeah. one one ear, I guess, you know. Which is some trippy shit. That's really cool. And you I tried to, like, to do, say what? You need to check out art on TikTok because they do a lot of really cool weird stuff too on there. I should check it out. Yeah, I, have, I haven't done much of that. And I, I did this weird one too. Like this was almost at the beginning. Like this was more like like more of a dark time, you know? Yeah. I, that's kind of weird shit. That's cool. They're so, yeah, cool. <laughs> so what? They're good. I like them. Oh, oh thanks. <laughs> yeah, I just sketch this and then I got a little bit into like, let me see, what is the pandemic stuff? Because I, I have a, um, I'll show you my mask in a second. Uh, oh yeah. Kind of interesting. It's a bunch of art. Oh yeah, some trippy shit, you know. I've been doing like more of my stuff, you know, because like I was doing a lot of stuff for the painting classes that I teach, you know. But yeah, now I'm like, ah, well, I, I'm not teaching anything right now, you know. I'm just gonna draw and paint whatever I want. Do you teach something online and get do something? Well, I want to start doing that. <laughs> this is like actually real. Uh, it's, yeah. Uh, it's like it's from the military, you know. It's like serious, like this. This one will protect you against bio weapons and shit like that. Do you wear that when you go out? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I go grocery shopping with this now. <laughs> <laughs> I should though. Like, like I think they've been lying to us about like not wearing masks just because they didn't want us to wear masks because they didn't have enough enough masks. Yeah. But uh, it, now they're saying like we should wear them. But you know what? Like all the other countries they always tell them to wear masks because it's just, it makes sense, you know? Mm-hmm. So at least when you go grow uh, you can, like, like mask out of anything, really. Yeah, yeah, as long as you don't breathe that shit because pretty much when somebody sneezes or something like that, it stays in the air for like three hours, you know, so. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> so how did you get into yeah. art? With your art. Mm, well, my whole life, I guess. I'm just been drawing and stuff. So, pretty much one thing to the other, you know? Yeah. Like I just really. I got sick, is how I did it. Oh, really? You got sick and then you started doing it, doing it then? Mm -hmm. You know, maybe. I don't remember how it started. I mean, I just remember always doodling and shit like that, you know? Mm -hmm. And then I really got into it. Uh, I broke my arm. Maybe it's like that's what it is, you know? I broke my arm. And then. I would just spend a lot of time home, you know, for, mm -hmm. and, but I had to learn to draw with my left hand, which I did, you know? Yeah. And then after that, it come, kind of like, I kept it consistently. So can you paint with both hands or? Yeah, yeah I can do stuff with both hands. Yeah, because I like, I see these videos on TikTok where they do stuff with both hands and I'm like, how? They I can do that. I can, I can, I, actually, I can do one of those if you want. It looks, it's yeah. not, 
Yeah, I can do something. That'd be cool. I can I, I can complete a drawing, you know, but maybe one day I'll be able to draw two different things at the same time. That'll be trippy. That, yeah. That's the next time. But that I can, like, cool. for example, if I can do a phase, you know, I'll do it, like, you know, you complete it. Yeah, I could not. No. <laughs> I'm all right-handed. I could not do anything with. You don't. You don't do anything with your left hand. Yeah, I'm like I can. I can throw like a ball with my left hand. You know and stuff like that. Yeah, and um, like so I got like really sick where they had to take, like I had to get blood pumped out of me, or I had to get a blood transfusion. So they put. Oh shit! Wow. Whatever. And so I could not move. I had to stay there without moving until I learned how to draw. And then I was so into Scooby that I would not stop until I knew how to draw Scooby completely. To draw Scooby, now you got it. Now you can yeah. even do it in 3D. <laughs> yeah, and what I want to learn to do is splatter paint. Where Splatter paint? You just throw paint at it? Yeah, but they do it like... They do it where they make pictures out of it. And like, people and stuff. There's like a really cool artist out there that can do that, and I don't know how to do that. They like use a visible ink or whatever, and then they splatter it, and so it only sticks to wherever the that stuff is. I don't know. Maybe they put like I I, I would think they prep it beforehand the surface, you know, and then they yeah. So then you throw a certain color and then it stays there, you know, and then like yeah, I I think there's 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 tricks to it. There's tricks to everything. Yeah, but it's just, like, hard for me to find out how you do those tricks. Mm-hmm. You know? No, no, I hear you. Yeah. Okay. So, to do, I'll, I'll do, like, a portrait instruction with this one. So, first of all, I just get, like, more or less the size of the, por- of, of the face that I'm going to drive. So, I'll say this is about the face size. And then I add, and everything first starts with, like, simple shapes, you know? So, just shapes. Uh, for example, his hair is pretty much this, you know? And then on the other side will be this kind of shape, you know? I don't think of like the little hair. So just think of like the big shapes. And then the shapes, the little hat. Let's see, now I can start more like where the eyes are gonna be, eye sockets, nose, mouth. See, everything is like simple shapes first, you know. Once I get the simple shapes, then I can find like smaller shapes. Start from the nose here. Start. Get that expression, like very basic, you know. It's almost like the expression I get at first, kind of like a, kind of like a smiley face expression before I add any of the details. It's almost like, it's called like gesture. I don't know if you've heard about gesture. So you get the basic, basic shape first, you know before you add any details, you know? So then, once I get that, like, dumb face expression, like, let me see what the eyes are exactly. So here, here. And then, other things I can show eventually is like, uh, I, can, I can give you a little bit of like, proportion. So there's about an eye in between the eyes. And then like, usually the corner of the eyes aligns with the corner of the nose. So it's just little details like that, you know? Yeah. I love charcoal because you can get a lot of like stuff done really quick. Cheekbones. Little chin. Let's see, the neck's a little bit thicker. I guess I didn't get that shirt. Let me see, that's about right. Nice curly hair. Tone that. What is he looking? Almost there. Yeah, it's really cool. No, now that I, I got most of the shapes down, like now, now I can start like 
once I'm okay with the shapes, you know, okay, this is this is pretty much okay. And then I start to like uh, press my charcoal a little harder because uh, the thing is like you want to start kind of loose at first because if you make a mistake, uh, it's a lot it's a lot harder to it's a lot harder to fix when it's like when you really commit in the beginning, you know. So you want to like more or less keep it uh, pretty loose in the beginning. Yeah. And then so you don't have to come in to like some of the first. And then just everything gets divided into shapes pretty much. Shapes. I love charcoal because it's so like, you can get a lot done quick, you know? Like I do in pencils for the really clean lines, but for example, for a portrait or something like that, uh, you, you get a lot done with the charcoal, you know, that you would not get as quick with that. See if I look on the camera. Yeah, it's getting there. It's almost like a, some sort of refining process. Does it look like him? Oh, yeah. Way better than what? Well, mine. <laughs> mine wouldn't turn out like that. Yeah, it's just like... Let's see. Do a little bit more detail. Sometimes if you want to see the shadows really well, it's good if you squint. Especially for him, he's black, you know, so it's, it might be kind of hard to see where the shadows are, but if you squint, like, not everything is the same tone, you know, so you'll notice that he's got, like, you know, it's like it's, it's a little harder to see, but it's like he's got all these different tonalities, you know. Yeah. And that's what pretty much is going to give him, give his face, like, the shape. <laughs> Not only like not only his skin tone, but also this this picture. Like usually in movies, they don't have very like uh, very high contrast. It's very like bleak, kind of like what's happened, you know. Uh, usually for for a line, uh, if you want to learn, uh, it's better to grab pictures with a lot of contrast because then they give you like a very clear like definition. You know where the shadows go. Okay. And that, that really gives the form, you know. But he's, he's not too bad. You can see. It's good to step away too. Like for example, the hair here has to be darker. And it, instead of thinking of like little like hairs, you know, I think of like this whole shape. Oh, tiny piece of shock. <laughs> I did a clean, I did, I did some cleanup today. And I was like super like annoyed with my desk, you know, so I grabbed everything on the desk and I put it in a box. But now I'm regretting because the charcoal was, <laughs> the charcoal was there <laughs> and I just like, I threw it all in there, you know, and it's kind of hard to find it. Yeah. Let's give him his nice. So I'll draw this with my finger first, the little marking, because it's such a light. Let me see. Uh, uh. Okay, if I get a, let me see, I need to get a, get an eraser. So with the eraser, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some lights out now. So now that it has a bunch of light dark everywhere, you know, and like it's getting a little bit smudgy. Mm -hmm. So you got the eraser, and then you get some highlights. Uh, for example, like here on this cheekbone, I can do some highlights. Let's see. I think there's a little bit of that, maybe a little bit on this one. And it's kind of a cleaning up process, you know. Cleaning up, cleaning up. His nose needs a little bit more light. So you can erase charcoal with an eraser? Uh, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, that's, and the, and the kind of charcoal that I'm using, I, I, I really like the charcoal a lot more. It's called, uh, it's vine charcoal. So it's like, it's a, a lot soft. There, there's two kinds of charcoal. There's, there's a hard charcoal, 
and that one is not very forgiving you know if you press it and you're pretty much done with that you know it's like it's gonna be that dark mm -hmm. there's nothing you can do but with this one it's almost like you can keep shaping it so it's a lot I, I, it's more fun for me because like you don't commit so much you know yeah and then let me see if i get a little corner example i can grab a little piece of eraser and like just sort of like break it into a into a little can you see a little piece like that yeah and that if, if i want to do like some lines and stuff like for example here you can see this, this lip needs a little bit darker yeah so the upper lip that's a little bit more dark like that and then it's got really dark in between here So you, you can kind of keep pressing in the areas that you really want to like give him some darkness, you know. So I feel like his face needs a little, a little more from the side. <laughs> the problem sometimes when I'm pitching from the side, because then it starts to get one-sided. But I'll go here, so I'll, I'll align it a little bit better. <laughs> Let me move the camera so I don't have to be, I don't have to be teaching you sideways. Yeah. Let me put the camera on the painting. And then I can be looking at the painting straight forward, you know, because that makes a difference too. Like, like when you're drawing, you should be like uh, pretty square to your to your subject matter, <laughs> or it can turn a little more sometimes. Okay. It's almost like let's see. Yeah, stupid thing. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see it fine there? Let me turn there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then I'll get this stupid charcoal. Stupid, stupid. Okay, now that I'm more aligned with this stuff, let me, let me see if I can improve. Oh yeah, he's totally hooked. Now I'm gonna make him better. That's a little bit better now. Yeah, his face was a little bit like, like more to the side a little bit. But see, he's like, he's getting there. <laughs> and then one thing that I, that I learned, actually I learned this on the internet. Like I knew, I didn't even learn this in school. It was like, when you do your shadows, for example, we're going to say the, the left, the, the right side is his shadow side, you know, so I don't know if this statement kind of makes sense, but it's the, the lightest shadow should be darkest, darker than the lightest light. Okay. You know, so you kind of organize your shadows uh, in your lights. And that would, that's what actually gives it like, like a more like, I don't know, like a more realistic or professional look, you know, if you really organize your shadows when it comes to like a more or less realistic drawing. Although this lights, this one has lights everywhere. Although, like, look here, on, on the hat, even on the hat, like, in the picture, like, if you squint, I don't know if you can see squint on the picture, squint a little bit, and you'll see, like, yeah. even the hat, like, even though it's almost, like, the same, the left side is lighter, you know, so you want to darker this one, the whole thing as, as a whole, you know, and give this side light, and that will give that, that better shape to it, you know? Yeah. And I think my, my fingers were a little greasy because... I can see it on that. On the thing. So here there's a hole right here on the, on the picture because there's a light there. So you want to do is just get rid of the lights. So it's another thing that I started doing. Once I got most of it, now it's taking shape, you know, then I go back to the drawing and then I make sure I get rid of what I call the holes. Any holes are like any lights in the dark areas, you know, they just, they just don't look right. Even even the eyes, you know, even though they're white, uh, they will look better if I dry them up a little bit. And then I will come back and I add a little really darker. I think I darkened them too much, but I can just like erase a little bit, but they should not be white anymore. See, a little bit. Let's see. And then here, this one now needs a little bit of fixing. 
then you can start after that you can start going like with like more details if you want to really get into it you know you can start giving them more eyelids and stuff like that but pretty much the whole thing with any drawing is you want to first look for for base like the gesture so you know so the gesture will be the expression on this guy you know you will find like that little like smiley face that i was saying like it's very simple like what's the actual expression you know uh and then the basic well basic shapes you know the head is just pretty much an egg or something like that you know and these things are like more or less some sort of like triangle or shapes you know yeah and then from the shapes you start to find um so from shapes it goes the the form the form is like a, like a shape is something flat like a circle and then a form will be a cylinder oh no a, 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 uh, the, the shape of a circle will be no the, the shape is a circle and then the form of the circle will be the sphere you know what i'm saying yeah. so that's kind of like what i'm saying so, so you start first with this with the basic basic stuff and then you start trans, you, you got you start to get it a little bit more more complex you know like you turn a shape a, a simple circle shape into a into a sphere you know and then everything has shapes within you know it's like it's just kind of like and then i'm right let me, let me find another charcoal because i pretty much killed this one like look this is what it turned out it's that much and it's really hard to withdraw now um hang on yeah i really enjoy drawing with the charcoal because you can get a lot of shit done really really quick that looks actually pretty good yeah. it was just looking it was just looking really more from from because i was like i was teaching you like this you know so then yeah. when i went straight it was just like <laughs> have you seen those like 3d drawings uh for example like like the people do on the streets like and then with the pic when you took a picture when you take a picture from a certain angle it looks like there's a hole in the ground or something like that yeah but then you get close to it and it's all flattened out mm -hmm. like some perspective tricks that you can use you know it's like intentional but sometimes yeah. uh, it happens to a lot of people, you know, unintentionally when you're drawing, if you're drawing from like a weird angle, that same thing will happen, you know, so it will look really good from the angle you're drawing it, but then you step away and it just looks off, you know? Yeah. So that's something with like perspective to, to look for. Let's make sure the eyes are where the eyes need to be. So let's do it a little. Oh, there's too much light there, see? And then go back to the expression because even though once you start to add all these like details we don't want to lose like basic soul stupid paper keeps moving <laughs> let me see it's gotta gotta hold it uh, let's see put a little bit of try a little bit of shadow down here Let's see, she needs like a fry, no, somewhere. <laughs> I can do like a check it out. I don't know, I suck at letters. Burgers. And then 2A. I'm just going to put the phrase 2A. <laughs> and then the thing, like, unless you want, you want to go for, like, perfection, you know, like, you can, like, get away with, like, with a lot of like approximations, you know, it doesn't have to be exact as long as you get close enough. Yeah. And like, and like as long as it's not totally morphed or like totally off, you know, like you want to look for things like, like the shadows are in the right places, you know, the shapes are okay. And then you just kind of go back and then you just refine it a little bit. It's all it is. It's just like a little refining job. Though I shouldn't have worked with greasy fingers, make sure your fingers are clean when you're doing this shit. You can give it a little bit more texture. I feel like the hair could use a little bit of like, kind of like taking a little bit of with the eraser, just go like this. Just 
just looking for the texture, you know. You know how it has like the, the braided hair. Yeah. So you just go like. It's a really quick lesson, I guess. I can break it down for you if you want. Oh, it's fun. Mm -hmm. I really like it. Thanks. It's like a like a two minute, like a five minute. How many? How many minutes? I, I guess it's been like ten, fifteen minutes now. I don't know. Probably fifteen. Mm -hmm. Are you recording this? Oh yeah. Cool. Can I have this? Uh, like, well, you you put it in your video, but can I have a clip and then I, I can put it on my on on my page too? You know, like yeah, just teaching people how to share. Yeah. Cool, man. Let me see what else. Oh yeah, it needs like it needs the stripes. Ah. Can I have <laughs> it's too long. Never mind. <laughs> I want to like, it's just hard to work on like the surface. Let me see. Let me see. So it's like the light, it's like blue, light blue, you know, but since there's no light blue right now, I'm just yeah. doing like a shade that is kind of light blue. Let me see what else, what else, what else. Yeah, the eye sockets. Let me see. It needs more. It needs more dark here. And then it needs more light. Oh, I can use. I want to use this as, as my eraser actually. You can use also like with this kind of charcoal. You can use a piece of paper. I think actually that's a better a better thing to do than using your finger. I've been using my finger. If you use a piece of paper, it's a little cleaner because if you have greasy fingers, you know, then, then it's no good. Like right here, like I got greasy fingers. They kind of got messed up a little bit. So that oh, look, this thing is kind of fixing it. See. It. The wood? Yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> yeah, I know nothing about charcoal to, you know, <laughs> to <don't laughs> really be wrong. <laughs> it looks so good. Thank you, man. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so good. charcoal is kind of cool because you can use it like. You can use it like like to do the big shading. I use it sideways like this, you know, and to do like little details, like turn it around. And I use like the little points. So yeah. it's like everything has like it's a cool like pretty versatile. It's it's not the best for like perfect details, you know, but it's great to like create like sh shadows and all that stuff, you know. Yeah. Let's see. I could keep going on it, but let's see. Let me, let me give it a last. I think this eyebrow needs a little bit more circle like that. Mm -hmm. Let's come back to the details now. 